I'm gonna say something again, I almost got killed. You feel better? Yeah. Yeah, I do. That adrenaline come down is brutal, you know? Yeah. I owe you one. <laughs> Since I'm pretty sure I just blew my cover, you owe me more than one. <laughs> Are we keeping score now? Always. How long you been under? What is this, September? November. Really? Jesus. Four? Four and a half months? Yeah. Yeah, and I was close too. You don't think you can get back in? Nah. Nah, coming to you tonight, I compromised my upset. Smelly's gonna be pissed. Sorry. A friend in need, right? So that was the infamous Missouri River killer, huh? Yep. Congratulations, Agent Chase. You just stopped a three-year killing spree. That bastard cut up 26 women. My pleasure. Lieutenant James. How's Vernon? Good, thank God. I'm here with the agent right now. We're going over their reports. I have a new desk first thing in the morning. Yes, sir. 30? Thank you, sir. Learning okay? Yeah. Consider how bad the son of a bitch cut him up. He's doing pretty good. That's great, Joe. The field dressing you applied stopped him from bleeding out. I guess Vern knows you one, too. I'm all kinds of lucky tonight, huh? I'm sorry, Joe. It's just this case I'm working, it has me all twisted up. I really wanted to close it. Well, maybe I can get my lieutenant to reach out to your sack and put in a good word for you. Don't worry about it. What's happening in 30? Patrol car's gonna come pick me up. You can chill there for the rest of the night if you like. But, uh, and I'll finish the reports first thing in the morning. 30, huh? At least. Ten minutes out. Vern, he'll be in the next state in ten minutes. Will not be in the next. Joe. I'm looking at a fire scene. Keep going. Jesus! You still want in, detective? What's this? Special Agent Michael Smelly, 15-year veteran. Decorated agent, husband, father. Sorry, Roy. Got a small caliber through and through to the dome. The burning was post-mortem, so... we don't think he suffered too badly. And was he working with Cheryl? My dynamic duo. 
How long has it been since they last checked in? Six weeks. Six weeks? What the fuck? Listen, Jason Smelly are deep cover operatives. Cowboys with a 90% success rate. They work best without a leash. So this is who they're working? Orlando Dred Catano, Cuban national. Came over on the boats back in the 1980s. Took the pledge, did a stint in the Marines, got an honorable discharge. Made his way up here. Joined the Nebraska State Patrol. He's a badge. Not only that, he has a special narco strike force. You know the type. Ex-military, high clearance rate, multiple accommodations. System force complaints, IA investigations. That's right. Yeah. You heard about the rash of car fires? Yeah, about seven, eight of them, right? They're calling it a serial arsonist. That was just a line of bullshit for the media. The truth of the matter is, all the Vicks were cops. What? And they all had ties to Catano. So the case caught federal attention. And got dropped in my lap. I put my people on it, and this asshole kept popping up. Catano's group is primarily renegades. So Chase and Smelly went in as dirty narcs out of Lincoln. How far did she get in? All the way in. Chase is his companion. <laughs> you mean his woman? Whatever you want to call it. She's doing what she has to do to break the case. So wait. You're telling me that the almighty FBI can't stop a simple state trooper? Not when that trooper has eyes and ears in the bureau. Then send me in. Get me federal jurisdiction and send me in. They don't know me there. Give me a couple of days to clear with the department and my family. All right. All right. But this has to be a quick snatch and grab op, Johnson. The Fed paperwork will take about a week or so to make it up the chain. And that's all the time you're going to have to grab our girl and get her out. I can offer you no assistance. None. So basically, you're on your own. Make it happen. <laughs> this Catano's Nebraska State Patrol, right? Yes, but... Then let Nebraska clean up their own shit. What, that podo can't got no IAB? Friend, this is bigger than Nebraska. What the hell could be going on in Nebraska that's so big it can't be handled in house? We're talking about a ring of dirty cops, organized and spread. Well, when these renegade cops get to the Kansas City border, you call me. It's federal now, Brandon. You all you put me on this. Royal James? Yes. This is about Chase, Henry. Yes. Uh, then that means it's personal, Joe. Look, man, I owe her my life. Okay, we both do. It's Nebraska, man. We... <sighs> All right. Is Royal giving us federal jurisdiction? This is going to be one of those plausible denials. We? Us? I bet you thought I was going to let you go in by yourself. Look, I don't like Royal. I'm not particularly fond of Chase, and I hate Nebraska. But you're my boy, and I tell what you're doing in the world. Thanks, Brian. You just start crying now. All right. Fat money's got caught in the hour. I'm not missing it for you, sir. Brian, look. About that jurisdiction thing. Yeah? Who have federal jurisdiction as well as the full cooperation of the Bureau. Just not immediately. Now, baby, listen. You know, given the circumstances, I'm going to ignore the fact that you're about to go play Captain save -a with Cheryl Chase, of all people. No, what I want to discuss is you going to Nebraska as a civilian to do it. We won't be civilians, baby. We'll be deep cover. Deep cover? No, you are not some young undercover cop anymore. You're not FBI. You are a KC homicide detective. What the hell is James trying to pull? The feds have been compromised. How is this your problem? You know, what do you even know about Nebraska? It's a big state. Do you have any assets out there? Any CIs? No. Then what, Joe, huh? Help me out here. I owe her. Your life. Yes. And I thanked her for that. We've had that conversation about a dozen times. I am done with that conversation. I want to have the why you conversation. But how many times do I have to answer that question? She sent us emergency texts. 1199, right? Right. We came of those after. If you say, saved my life one more time, 
after the MRK thing, it's the code for when either of us are in danger. How long? How long what? How long have you been sleeping with this chick? Did it start before or after she saved your life? Jesus, Sierra, we kissed once. It was an adrenaline thing, that's all. So let me make sure I'm clear on all this. Y'all have secret text codes. Her boss is sending you out of state to bring her ass back. And you are still holding on to this one kiss nonsense? Really? You know what? I'm not doing this anymore. It's whatever at this point. I love you and Neil with all my heart, baby. But I'm going to Nebraska and bringing Cheryl out. I owe her my life. You don't owe her shit, Joe! Fat money, they just gave fat money 25 to life. Whoa, yeah, over here, beat it. <laughs> Come on, Joe. You know the drill, nothing exists. What's the objective? Yeah, you ready? <laughs> 